terms of techniques of meditation practice, the best one, the most suitable one, which I've been doing, <laughs> is the one on breathing practice. The, in Buddhism, the breathing practice is not a yoga practice, it's not yoga breathing. It's not forced, it's not an exercise. They merely use the breath as a convenient object to pin the attention. The whole thing is pinning the mind and the attention, keeping the attention fixed. And you pin it to the feeling of the breath, usually about the tip of the nose or somewhere around here. But wherever one feels the breath most strongly, that is the place to go to. And one keeps, keeps one's attention on that. And tries to keep it on that, knowing the breath going in, out, in, out, like that. Without it wandering. Um, if one does this for a long time, the mind doesn't wander. You find that the mind becomes more interested. In it. it starts to become interesting. And it can become almost fascinating. You find a point coming up somewhere, a point of concentration. You can't say where it is necessarily. There may be light comes up, but that doesn't happen with really the mind. And uh, one goes on until this gets strong, one can follow it and hold that point of concentration all the time. If one can keep at it long enough, it'll, it'll migrate to the heart. And then one will have an experience of happiness that one's never known before. Because um, uh, at that point the, the, the mind has um, lost all contact with everything external. Everything external is gone. It's just left. It's entirely on its own. And what it's left with is knowing. It knows. And, and that's the, the state of samadhi. Of the samadhi. Uh, if one can, one should go on doing this many times until one can get it easily. Uh, then one's mind will be well trained. But one still then has to turn and do the wisdom practice. And then has to develop thought, investigating, examining, which is quite different. And there is a tendency when one gets that samadhi to kind of wallow in it. Because one thinks it's extremely pleasant, one feels no troubles at all, all one's anxieties, worries, everything just all gone. But the trouble is that it doesn't, it doesn't bring one to anything finally. One comes away from that state and there one is, just, just the same person. Not this one. So one's got to use the wisdom to, to to go deep and to get rid of those things which are our problem internally. And this is very important. Otherwise people get caught with samadhi. Wonderful state, and there it is. Doesn't do anything. Many have been caught in that. Because one thinks this must be enlightenment. So feeling that, oh, you know, I've got that. Oh. And in fact, one hasn't. In fact, one's really quite a long way from it. It's not actually finding out any truth, but it is giving one a lot of data because one's getting into new states of mind one hasn't been in before. And this teaches one a lot, of the, a lot about the scope of the mind. And also, by doing that, if one is clever and one doesn't get caught in it, one can realize how many people have got caught in that. How many people have assumed that, uh, uh, for instance, that that is God, or something of that sort. And really, they, they've got the wrong thing. Uh, if one can get to that state, uh, then one has to examine, use one's, one's, uh, one's wisdom, what wisdom one has to examine, to find out whether in fact one's overcome one's suffering or not, whether one still has discontent, whether one really finds that this is, this is what one's after. And uh, if one's truthful with oneself, one will have to admit that it isn't. One then has to go on to, to find out where the real problem is, which is in the kilesas. But it's not easy doing it, very hard. 
Oh, wait. <laughs> And Tanishan has said that, Tanishan, the teacher, has said that uh, uh, he found that it doesn't get easier. It's difficult right, right away, sir. Every step is difficult. The um, steps one's already gone through, of course, become easy. But then one's faced up with something difficult again. More difficult the next step. 